What is going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at the Fresnel or Fresnel node, depending on how you like to pronounce it. So the Fresnel node is basically when you get to the edge of a surface, it will change to whatever you set it to change. So in these examples on Unreal, it's changing just the color as it gets to the edge. A uh, better description is here. Fresnel is the term used to describe how the light you see reflects at different intensities based off an angle you are viewing it from. Now you can basically tell this to do whatever you want. I'm, for example, here, it's just going dark as it reaches that sort of Fresnel point. And like on spherical objects, it's a lot more obvious because it sort of goes away from you. If you had it on like a cube, you can see as you get to that sharp angle here, it gets really dark as it come up, it gets lighter. Yeah. And if we put it on a plane, you can see it even more. Straight, uh, straight towards us. When we get to the edge, see that getting darker. There's a lot of uses you can use this for. I've got a transparent object here where it gets less transparent as it gets towards the edge. Double here, it just changes to a metallic purple color and then like a matte blue color in the middle. You could do it on like a planet. So like I'm using it for my, um, I guess, atmosphere effect here. And some people I see use it as like a sort of highlight. So it highlights around the edge of a surface, maybe for objects you want to pick up or select. So, Let's get started and showing you how to set it up. Now it's super simple. We're just going to our material, right? Fresnel test. Testing. Open it up. Come into here and just right click, right? For now. Now, if I were to right click this and start preview, you'll be able to see that we're already doing it. Now, there's a couple of things you can change on here. You've got the exponent or exponent. Uh, which we can change up or down, which will basically pull that edge in or pull it away. So turning it up or pull it away. You can have a much subtler sort of fade across the edge. Or if you turn it really low, it will cover way more towards the center. And again, this is more obvious or this works better on something like a sphere. But if you were to look at a plane, you can see it changing drastically. You can even see we're already hitting the edges here where you can see it's getting lighter and it's dark in the middle. And then you've got your base reflect factor. Now I tend to personally turn this to zero. Basically all this is, is what this center color is gonna be. So if I set it to zero, it will just be completely black and then white. So you can actually use a LERP. So if you hold L and left click, a LERP is a very neat node. I'll have a separate video that sort of goes over this a bit more. But if we had two different things we wanted, so in this case, let's do two different colors. So free left click and you get your free constant. And we're gonna change this one to blue. I'll change this one to red. I'm gonna plug one into B, one into A, one into alpha, and plug that straight in. Right click and stop previewing that. And you should be able to see an object with pink on the outside, or I guess red on the outside, with blue in the middle. And again, as you change these, you can adjust how strong that's going to be. Now you can do this for your roughness, you can do it for your opacity, you can do it for your emissive, so you have an emissive glow on the edge, which is kind of like my earth, or even like this one here, I made it emissive on the edges. But if you want to make it also changeable during sort of as a material instance, you could just plug that into here, set that to whatever you want as your default, convert that. So these are one constances. If one left click, right click them and convert, or you can hold S and left click and you'll just make a uh, scalar. Plug that into your base and change that to whatever you want. I usually have it set to zero anyway, so I probably won't need to change that, but we could call it like base. And then we can just nickname this Expo. Click apply. Actually, we'll change the colors as well. At color one. Color two, apply. Right click the material you've just made, which is this one, material instance. Spread it onto your new surface. Let's grab a sphere out, spread it onto that. We actually made it quite similar to that one. Double click it, and now you've got all those things to be able to change. So we've changed that base, which will help. If you change that to one, it will just make it so the whole base is the same as the edge. So I'll keep that at zero. And we can change this so it comes out and in more. And we can change the colors. Again, you can do whatever you want with this. I'm just showing it on color as an example, but you can go plug this into your roughness, your capacity, your emissive, whatever you like. And that is what the basic setup to a Fresnel node. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time.